yes 10th class good morning everyone is the question visible which i have shared with you right now yes everybody please give the response okay all of you uh, open one notebook in front of you and if you are accessing the class via computer or laptop uh, please uh, open notepad those who are accessing the class via pc please open notepad and practice the coding with me so this is the question which we are going to revise today this is table coding and uh, you have to apply some css properties to it so go through the table first okay see where call span row span are to be set see the alignment of the data some cells are in left some cells are in the right okay some at the bottom some in the center okay then uh, these are the properties that you are to apply to the border of the table the style of the border must be inset the color of the border must be green okay then uh, these are the properties which are to be applied to the table align center height 150 width 200 background color should be aqua apply row span and call span attribute wherever necessary caption of the table is alphabets caption of the table is alphabets okay got it is the question clear to all of you so let us start the coding now is the notepad window visible all right i'll be asking questions from anyone so all of you be attentive and be alert okay randomly i will announce the roll numbers and they will give answer to the questions we are starting with html tag okay followed by the head tag inside the head tag we enclose the title tag and i am giving the title revision right looking to the question there is no such instruction regarding the background color of the web page the question is silent about the background color of the web page so that we can take from our own side you may keep the background white or you may apply any suitable color to the background that is your choice i am taking body bg color equal to i am taking the bg color as uh, orange okay i have taken the background color of the web page as orange right then starting with the table tag now it is up to you uh, whether you want to go with the inline style or whether you want to add internal style or whether you want to go with the external style right clear i am taking internal style but border i am taking four now i am using the style attribute i am going with the internal style and let us see the properties which i have to incorporate style and color of the border so the property name is border style value is uh, inset semicolon then i am to set the color of the border 
border hyphen color color is green okay then uh, alignment is center height 150 width 200 background color aqua background color aqua height property 150 width property 200 okay got it all of you so these are the prop, uh, css properties and after this the next property i am applying is a line equal to center right now we can see caption of the table is blue in color the caption of the table is blue in color okay so we take the caption tag over here and in the caption tag you can apply the css property color and you can give the color to the caption that is blue and caption is alphabets and close the caption tag over here close the caption tag students keep giving the feedback i'll be asking questions when i will finish the coding part right first tr now this data title goes here it is spanning horizontally it is spanning horizontally horizontally across three cells how we know three cells count from here one two three and horizontal spanning that means it is the case of call span so we take td call span equal to three align equal to center data is title goes here and close the td next cell is a in the center b in the right a is in the center b is in the right so we say td align equal to center a td closes then we have td align equal to right then we can say b and we close the first row so 10th class our this much portion is done yes am i clear up till here any questions any queries by anyone khushi kritika jay ditya any queries any questions sahaj preet prabhnur singh any doubt prabhnur Uh, Arman, Gurkirat, any questions, any doubt? Aditya, Parth, Chayank, Karanjot. Gurseva, Karanjot, are you in the lecture? Okay, Karanjot, it's okay. Janvi, Keshav, any doubt, any questions up till here? Shall I proceed further? All right. So next we are to move to the second row. Up second row me dekho. Thoda sa idhar kar. Now what is in the second row? Second row we have the first cell C it is going spanning vertically down it is going vertically down 
how many cells how many rows one two three so it is the case of row span and uh, these further four cells in the normal and this complete row is in the center this is the second row which i have shaded in front of you this is the second row okay so this complete row is in the center so when complete row is in the center you can apply a line attribute inside the tr tag td row span equal to 3 c td closes td d then e then f c d e f g and then we have g okay so this closes my second row so i have covered this much portion of the table the area which i have shaded this much portion we have covered now coming to the third row in the third row we have h i cell spanning horizontally anybody can tell me what we will apply here anyone can tell me what we will apply here yes prabhun unmute yourself call span yeah call span and what is the value of call span over here 2 the value will be 2 because it is spanning across two columns okay then this third cell of third row j third cell of the third row j it is spanning vertically down by two cells so this is the case of row span now this entire row is in the center but this last cell is having different alignment okay so we have td h td now then we have td call span equal to 2 i td closes then we have row span equal to 2 v align equal to bottom the cell j is at the bottom so we will apply vertical alignment attribute v align and the value of v align is bottom okay this is j right and uh, here i close the tr then followed by the fourth row in fourth row we have just three cells because the last cell of the fourth row is already merged with the last cell of the third row so we have only three cells in the third row k l m and all the three cells are in center tr align equal to center we have td k td closes we have td l td closes we have td k l m td closes and close the tr all right close the tr now the last row n here and this complete cell spanning horizontally across four columns what attribute we will apply here who will tell what attribute we will apply to the letter o yes janvi unmute yourself sir call span value value sir sir 4 yeah 4 yeah it am i audible now
all right so uh, we have td sorry tr a line equal to center td n td pole span 4 o and tr here we close the table tag here we close the body tag here we close the html tag clear to all i save the coding in documents and uh, i am giving the name 15th 10th a table dot html let us see the browser view documents uh, this is our web page yeah please check it out all of you please check it out see the style of the border it is inset the color of the border is green i just increase the width so that the alignment of the cell is more clear to you check it out please And if you have any queries, please ask me. I'm giving you one minute. All of you see the browser view. Is it clearly visible to all? Now I'm going to show you the coding once again. All of you go through the coding so that you can practice it at your home. Go through the coding minutely. All right, I have few questions to ask and whosoever name I will announce, the child will raise the hand. As you will raise the hand, your icon will come above my window. Then I will unmute you. Okay. My first question to Gur Sevak Singh. Wherever you are, please raise your hand. Gur Sevak, question for you is what is the role of TR tag? Sir, TR tag is used to uh, used to make table and Beta, no, TR tag is not used to make table, but TR tag is table used row, to table row. table row. It is used to create rows in the table. Okay, good, Seva, clear? Hai? Yes. Sir. Okay, good. So TR tag stands for table row. It is used to create rows in the table. Okay. Uh, my next, uh, lower down your hand, Guru Sevak. My next question is to Chand. Wherever you are, raise your hand. Chand, roll number eight. Wherever you are, raise your hand. Yes. He has entered the class, but he is not attentive in the lecture. Okay. Uh, my question to Saharsh. Roll number 39. Saharsh, roll number 39. Yes, Saharsh, unmute yourself. Saharsh, unmute yourself.
Am I audible to you? Your hand is up, but you are not unmuting. Set your mic and uh, come again, okay? Till then, I pass the question to Saket, roll number 40. Saket, roll number 40, raise your hand. Yes, Saket, unmute yourself. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Saket. Saket, what is the role of TD tag? Sir, it is used to define the content of the cell. It is used to define the data cells. Very good. It is used to define the data cells in the table. All right. My next question is to Keshav, 26 roll number. Wherever you are, raise your hand. Keshav, unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Keshav, what is the role of caption tag? Sir, it is used to define the uh, title of the table. Yeah, it is used to provide short descriptive title to the table. The caption tag is used to provide short descriptive title to the table. Very right, Keshav. Good response. Okay. Uh, my next question to Jay Aditya. Jay, wherever you are, raise your hand. Uh, Jay, unmute yourself. Good morning, sir. Uh, very good morning, Jay. Jay, tell me, row span and call span are attribute of which tag? TD tag. TD or? T TR. No, 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 no. Not TR, mm. bete. TD and TH. Yeah, yeah. Very good. TD and TH only. Shabash. Very good, Jay. Row span and call span, 10th class, remember, they are not attribute of table tag. They are not attribute of TR tag. They are only available in TD and TH. Okay. My next question, uh, Saharsh, is it okay? You can unmute now. Setting is done of the uh, mic. Try to unmute. I don't think he's here in the lecture. Uh, okay. Yeah. Try to unmute yourself, Saharsh. Kya baat hai? Aap se unmute bhi nahi ho raha. Strange. Okay, my next question to uh, Japjot Singh, wherever you are, raise your hand, Japjot. Yeah, Japjot, unmute yourself. Anji, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Japjot. Japjot, uh, uh, see the coding in front of you. Take it as a case study and tell me uh, which properties I have applied to the table. Border. Beta, could you please lower down the volume of whatever uh, is there? <laughs> Border, border color, sir. Yeah, Height. yeah, yeah, good. Width. Yeah, good, good, fine. Thank you, Jabjo. Okay. Good answer. Okay, so all of you go through the coding now. Any doubt, any queries? Any doubt, any queries? Yes, Arpit, unmute yourself. The cell spacing and cell padding are used in which tag? Only table. Only table. Okay. Uh, Arpit has asked about cell spacing, cell padding. 
Anybody can tell me the difference between the two? Yeah, Arpe, uh, okay, Tarun Deep, unmute yourself. Sir, so, uh, cell spacing is the amount of space between two cells and cell padding is the amount of space between cell border and cell content. Yeah, cell spacing refers to the amount of space between two different cells. And cell padding is the amount of space between the cell content and the border of the cell. Okay. Very right. Good. Tarundi, very nice. All right. So now, uh, this was the table revision. Okay. Now I want to discuss some definitions from internet topic. My first term is SSH. Secure shell. My first concept with you is secure shell. Okay, what you know about secure shell? Yes, please. What you know about the secure shell? Yes, anyone? Better, there is one protocol in internet that is called Telnet. Telnet means telecommunication network. Okay. With the help of this protocol Telnet, you can log on to remote computer. Wherever you are sitting, wherever you are, you can log on to the remote computer. You can access the computer, which is far away using the Telnet session. Telnet is also known as remote login. Another name of Telnet is remote login. But the problem in FTP and Telnet is that they are not secure. They are not secure. The data that is transferred between the client and the server, the data is not encrypted. The data is not encrypted. So it may happen that hacker may attack onto your data. Your data may be corrupted. Your data may be hacked by the hacker. So in order to establish a smooth connection plus safe, secure connection between client and server, we provide a protocol that is called SSH, Secure Shell. Secure Shell protocol basically is a protocol, is a remote login protocol. It is just like Telnet. It is a remote login protocol, just like your Telnet, okay? And it provides a shell. And due to this shell, which is provided by this protocol, the data between client and server is encrypted. The data between the client and the server is completely safe, completely encrypted. It is just like your telnet only. SSH is your telnet only, but secure form of telnet. It creates a shell. Ye ek shell bana deta hai. Aur us shell ke karan, jo bhi data client or server mein transfer ho raha hai, that will be the secure connection. That will be the encrypted transfer. So all the data will remain safe. Whatever transaction is carrying on between client and server, it will remain safe. Is the role of SSH clear to everyone? Yes, Bete, is the role of SSH clear? Or uh, Aditya, you have any doubt? All right. Next beta is the term SCP. 
सिक्योर कॉपी प्रोटोकॉल बेटा एफ टी पी यू नो एफ टी पी प्रोटोकॉल इज यूज टू ट्रांसफर फाइल फ्रॉम वन कंप्यूटर टू अनदर बट द ट्रांसफर इज नॉट सिक्योर ट्रांसफर ऑफ द फाइल इज अन एनक्रिप्टेड सो वॉट दिस एस सी पी डू बेटा एस सी पी प्रोटोकॉल इट ऑल्सो अलाउज द यूजर टू कॉपी द फाइल टू ट्रांसफर द फाइल फ्रॉम वन कंप्यूटर टू अनदर but in a secure way as it uses ssh technique okay it uses all the encrypted benefits which are provided by ssh okay right this is scp clear bete